here's another video uh, in regards to the um, PLCs that we have, the Mar Micrologics 1100 PLCs. Um, and I'm talking about the emulation. So if you're a student at home, you can download uh, the Rockwell software. And um, I'll just see if I've got the links for that. Okay, I'll just uh, show you the Rockwell software you need. RS Linux Classic, which does all your communications. And that's a direct uh, download link. RS Logix Emulate, and that's the download link for that one. And then there's RS Logix Micro English, and that's a download link for that one. Um, so, <clears throat> first thing to do is after you've installed the software is to set up the communications. Um, so we do RS uh, Links. Classic, uh, not the reference. Try again. Um, classic, and you can see I've already been running this. Now, this this is showing. Uh, now, basically, you go to communications, configure drivers, and you can add the emulator driver, which I've done already, and that's running. And incidentally, that's the Ethernet IP driver, which is one of those ones which you need for communications with an actual physical uh, PLC. <clears throat> now, you can see that that's got a little red box through it. That means the emulator program is not running at the moment. So if I start that one, RS Logix Emulate 500, um, I can open up a program and give it a station ID and run and uh, you'll see that that little red cross is gone now so uh, once I've started that process it's now visible the virtual PLC is now visible <coughs> uh, that's not the program I'm going to use though in this example I'm going to continue on so I'll just go I'll halt and now I'll start um, the other program which is um, RS Logics Micro English now I'll do I'll do a um, a very simple program. So I'll just go File New, uh, select Micrologix 1100 Series B, which is the one we use, and I'll just do a really basic one. So insert wrong, grab, drag and drop an input, drag and drop an output, and just give it um, a label. I semicolon zero backslash zero, which is the first one and I'm not going to put a label for this one and this one will be output 0-0 zero zero. no label there and I'll save that one save as um, where shall I put this one just put it on the Google Drive um, equipment PLC, uh, just put test, test program. Now <clears throat> go to comms, system comms, and I'll, you can see that that virtual uh, PLC is there. So I want to download that code to that PLC and just go OK. Downloading program, go online, and so if I go back to that emulator. <coughs> So it says test program, that's the one I just wrote. And I should be able to switch to run. Are you sure? And go ahead and do that. Now, it's it's actually running now. Now incidentally, if you're using the actual physical PLC, you have to, the Micrologic 1100, you have to manually change it from program mode to run mode and vice versa. But in this case, it's, it's just automatic because it's virtual. Um, so you can see it's running. If I want to stop the program, I can press Halt. Uh, incidentally, I could do it another way, and I could go if I'd already written the code. I could go File, Open, and find the program, and do it from there. Um, and then go when I go to Cobbs, I can upload that program. So <clears throat> now you find that I can toggle these bits, uh, force on, and that forces that output on. So it's it's running the virtual PLC just fine. Um, 
and of course when you go to program you just you have to go to program to change that code so it changes that and then I can insert um, a rung etc and that's all I have to tell you about the running the emulator for our PLC RS, RS um, Allen Bradley PLCs thank you